I spoke to you when you were born. Be still. I know. I am God. I spoke to you at your first sight. Be still. I know. I am God. I spoke to you at your first word. Be still. I know. I am God. I spoke to you at your first thought. Be still. I know. I am God. I spoke to you at your first love. Be still and know I am God. I spoke to you at your first song. Be still and know I am God. I spoke to you through the grass of the meadows. Be still and know I am God. I spoke to you through the trees of the forest. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the valleys and the hills. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the holy mountains. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the rain and the snow. And know I am God. I speak to you through the waves of the sea. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the dew of the morning. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the splendor of the sun. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the brilliant stars. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the storms and the clouds. Be still and know. I speak to you through the thunder and the lightning. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you through the mysterious rainbow. Be still and know I am God. I will speak to you at the end of time. Be still and know I am God. I will speak to you when you have seen my angels. Be still and know I am God. I will speak to you throughout eternity. Be still and know I am God. I speak to you. Be still and know. Who were the 
saying and how, 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 how is it to be a modern day saying? Uh, we uh, gave the name a sin farm uh, just as an inspiration because we have learned that the I seen where the, they were vegetarians they were against sacrifice uh, in the temple and they were uh, the first uh, to grow sprouts they used to uh, they have a system how to grow vegetables by not eating the whole plant completely but the, the leaves and leave the steam to flower. They were healers and because uh, we are here uh, uh, an ecological health farm and we uh, uh, try to teach people how to uh, uh, live healthfully so we thought this is a good inspiration to give the name a sin farm. And uh, after we gave the name, we were also interested in some of the ceremonies and other uh, what we call communions. Uh, and then we have learned we are close to the monastery of uh, John, John the Baptist. So we are just neighbors. It's time to be like this. But uh, the real reason was the inspiration, the name, and uh, we were also uh, familiar with the uh, books of uh, Professor Edmund Zekely. So uh, uh, we felt closely uh, related to uh, this community. But uh, the main reason for uh, this farm is uh, teaching health, living healthfully, we're doing some uh, uh, fasting retreats here and uh, uh, the place is uh, open for uh, other uh, uh, lecturers and uh, workshops guides to give their lectures in uh, uh, whatever uh, subject it is but as long as it's close to health and uh, consciousness. So, uh, this is what I can say about it. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about uh, what are the communions? Uh, you say the communions. Okay, okay. So, uh, as I said before, the I seen war, uh, what we call, I call, translated for Hebrew as a stream. Zerem, Zerem by Yagut. Stream. It's a uh, stream within the Judaism in the second temple time uh, and uh, they were living in many places around Israel uh, and they used to have uh, uh, communities which were uh, cooperatives like a kibbutzim that's uh, Josephus Plavius wrote about it uh, they were dressed in white and when uh, uh, an IC person from another community come to the community, everybody accept him as a member and they used to feed him, look after all his needs and uh, uh, very much similar to the idea of uh, the community of our area. Uh, they used to have uh, ceremonies which we call communions. Uh, I say it is a, it is sort of like an old version of the Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. Since in the Kabbalah in each Sephira there is an archangel. Mm -hmm. So it's like the uh, teacher of this level of consciousness. Yes. So the communions are uh, in fact meditations of uh, channeling and archangels. Mm -hmm. And they both uh, have uh, respect for the angels of the earth and the angel of the heavenly father. Yes, so the, the angels the angels is uh, what we can 
can say it's a force, a force of nature. Um, like before they were planting a plant, they used to ask the angel of water to come inside, which means to soak the, 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 the seeds, the seeds. So the angel of water come inside. And then they and then they, they put they, they take out the sprout, put it in a well it's still a seed. They put it in a restrainer until it's dry by the force of by the angel of air. And they put it in the angel of sun to get the warmth of the uh, cosmos inside. And then they uh, ask uh, when they start and the, the little uh, roots coming down and take him to the angel of earth the angel of earth and then they call the angel of life to come and after the angel of life we have the angel of, of joy it's very very interesting that they what the, 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 all the forces, all the angels which I just have said are the angel of uh, mother nature or mother earth and they are, uh, the, the angel of joy is uh, an angel that you would say is not uh, an angel of Mother Earth, but yes, it is when all the other angels do their forces, they do what they have to do, then you are in the hands of the angel of joy. That's what comes. So this is the, the roots. The roots of the of tree of life. So uh, I said uh, the healthy human being has its uh, leg in the soil and his head in the clouds. Yes. So this is uh, basically this idea of balance, right? Yes, yes, uh, yes. And well, as, 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 an, as an, I would say, as a creature, as an animal, we don't have to speak at all that the angel of, uh, of the Father, Heavenly Father. It's enough if we speak about this angel here. So, if we just start with the angel of water, the angel of air, the angel of uh, uh, sun, the angel of uh, earth, and when this is the mother, uh, I speak about the angel, so it's the angel of, of uh, earth, we come to the angel of life, and then to the angel of joy, we already made uh, an, an enemy, a creature do what he has to do in this world in, in the right way. So this gives you the basis for uh, spiritual development. And there is also the idea of the, the inner temple, like the, the tree of life as the inner temple wherein the divinity can manifest. Like we become the inner temple, so we don't need to fight over who is in control of the top of the rock because <laughs> we are living uh, we are the living temple so why should we destroy a temple for another uh, actually in our, in, our, uh, in our workshop in the, uh, like this the one who is coming uh, five days of uh, going into a three day fast and out what we are uh, teaching is to look at the body as your temple, which means, first of all, we say our body is not a garbage bin. We are not throwing inside anything that we can eat and just uh, 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 crave for. Uh, the body, uh, we have to have, have its own consciousness and we have to communicate with the body. The body gives us signs, it doesn't speak in language gives us signs. We have to be sensitive. Don't neglect them. Don't say, well, I'll take a pill and just stop yeah, uh, the pain immediately because pain tells you something. You have to listen to see what's wrong and uh, just go uh, according to what I say. The, the, the mind of the body is cleverer than the mind of, your, of you. He knows exactly what's good for your body and that's something that we are teaching here in order to be able to develop spiritually 
first of all, you have to uh, be with contact with your body and uh, cultivate it as a temple. As a temple, when you are, uh, do all the right things on the material level, you, uh, you establish the basis for uh, good development, for uh, spiritual development. Because if it's not, I always give the example of a pyramid. A pyramid has this shape. On the basis of it, we have uh, the, the, all the materials uh, needs that we need in this body. So it's like the Maslow with the pyramid of needs. Yes, and then, well, to be a good housekeeper, to grow children, to have a wife, and then on the middle one is to develop your uh, uh, emotions, your feelings. Come to be a, a, love, a lover person in love in this world. See uh, the, the divine in everything. And then on the top of it, you can be a spiritual person, a, a teacher. But many, many people come to us and I look at them as an upside down here. Because they come, their head is in the clouds. They think that they are in channeling with everything and uh, they, they know exactly what's going on on the upper uh, world. But their basis is very narrow. They don't have a house to live, they don't have, uh, probably not married, don't have children, don't have a, a, a job or whatever. And you know what happened when a pyramid like this stand on something very narrow? It's mm. shaking. Yeah. It's shaking. And many people like this find themselves at the end in the, you know, in the crazy house or... Uh, yeah. Uh, I know so because I work with such people. Uh -huh. This is my job. This is also both my job and my uh, part of uh, what I inspire to do. I told you that I'm working with uh, this uh, clinical psychologist who are coming. Uh -huh. So for nine years now we are working with such people, going to a workshop. Mm -hmm. And the, the workshop instructor says, let's uh, tear down the armor, the body-mind armor, mm -hmm. which is all the structures of uh, separation that are built in our body-mind structure. And there is a people come from the Osho teaching and they believe that the only way out is through. So what it means out, you need to go through all the pain, all the difficult, all the difficult emotions and through a catharsis you should reach the other side. But what happens many times is that you don't reach the other side. Mm -hmm. So you go into a therapy or a retreat and then you either go to a mental house or just uh, make all your uh, family and everybody, you know, very miserable. <laughs> so what we teach here, uh, we teach here on the uh, very uh, basic level. Uh, be careful what you eat, because this is also influence your mental uh, ability. And, um, I know from my personal uh, history that uh, some uh, uh, mental illness can be cured by uh, eating the right things, sleeping, just on the, on the basic level, uh, treated right, and you produce the uh, chance to get over even schizophrenia and other uh, very uh, uh, difficult uh, illnesses. That's good news. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. And <laughs> Not for the... <laughs> yeah. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Yeah, so it was... Yeah, it, uh, this is... Uh, as I say, it's a part of uh, my path, my part of my teaching. 
I also have a base, basic course that they teach the basic mm -hmm. of spirituality for people who want to go higher. And let's go to uh, Yeshua and Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. and even John the Baptist. And we most uh, people know the uh, canonical uh, Christianity, the Catholic and Protestants and the others who believe in what the four Gospels are saying. Um, within the four Gospels there is no mention of the same, right? But uh, from many sources it's, it uh, comes now and there is the, the Gnostic uh, Christianity which is more esoteric based on some 30 other uh, Gospels that were sort of like buried in the sand and were treated as heresy and anyone practicing it would uh, face death. And I, I'm investigating uh, the third kind which I would call the New Age or Aquarian Age uh, Christianity which uh, brings out the, uh, let's say, uh, more esoteric and more uh, universal kind. So, what, what do you think is, uh, how, or what do you know about the relationship between Yeshua, Mary yeah. Magdalene, Mother Mary, Joseph, and well, the same? It all started when I was in the state of Oregon in the United States, and we were traveling to the state of Washington, and in the car, uh, a guy was uh, offered me the book of I Think Gospel of Peace, number one, and says, you know, uh, Yeshua was a vegetarian, and uh, he uh, was in uh, nature healing. I said, yeah, I didn't know, but I will start reading it. And then I was got uh, uh, involved in all the books of Professor Edmund Zakeli. I was in the, uh, I think, gathering in Brighton Bush Hot Spring with uh, Abba Nazaria and uh, Gabriel Cousins. One is a um, Catholic uh, priest and the other one is Jewish rabbi. And uh, we were in, in this gathering, there were many, many books of Professor Edmund Zakeli. And uh, I asked Abba Nizaria, who was Professor Abba uh, Edmund Zakeli? He said, he was a scholar. But then I was getting very, very uh, deep inside, and I had many talks with the gathering cousins about it. He was a real healer, first of all. He was, uh, uh, got this, uh, this was actually his PhD uh, thesis, which he done in the, uh, uh, in the archive of the Vatican. And, uh, Although some people say just chanted it, yeah, but okay. I, I would say, you know, for me, what is truth is like what uh, opened my heart. Yes, yes. And when I read this, and I read it many times, and not only read it, but also practiced it and translated it into Hebrew, yeah. it, my heart is, is, is like overfilled with joy and inspiration and like a, an ancient song of, uh, yeah. that connects me to the truth. So I know it's truth, even if the scholars don't believe it. So, so he, he, one of his little booklets that he wrote was the, from the Isis, yes, to the Franciscans. And he was say that the origin, the origin of the spring is the Isis. And then was a priest named Jerome, which was got this uh, um, uh, knowledge, and he passed it. He, he, he is the, the creek, the, the little stream. And then he passed it to the Benedicts, which are the river. And then the Franciscans cut it, and they are the ocean. That's his book. He has this book uh, by Professor Edmund Zakeli, where he, he finds a connection, a real, uh, from the Essenes to the Christianity, to the Franciscans, which are now uh, here uh, in, 
monetary, monastery near us, uh, where, uh, according to tradition, uh, uh, John the Baptist was teaching. And we can see that the baptism, the, this ceremony, is very much the same what they are seeing or teaching. So, uh, and, and if we go a little bit uh, uh, farther, where well, they are seen well against the sacrificing of uh, in the temple and being vegetarians, we find that there is real connection. Uh, I always hear in the Sin Farm people uh, who wants to know what the meaning of the word of the word synchrony, which means either is it is it vegeta vegetarian or vegan? And I said this word had a lot of uh, uh, what we call devaluation. The first Christians they want to be a vegetarians at least in Shabbat. Because on Shabbat, the, uh, the Isins were fasting. So according to the tradition, they don't want to eat meat. And then they make all the time some discount, according to generation. So in Judaism, they do it on yes. the Shabbat. The, Shabbat. the, the, <laughs> the opposite, yes. yes. There are many, many things in Judaism come in opposite. Yes. Like taking off, taking the head, when you go inside the synagogue, when you go to the church, you take the head out, these sort of things. But uh, uh, I think that uh, there is a truth in it, that uh, the origin of Christianity is somewhere in the brotherhood of the Essenes. For me it is, uh, I study and research the more esoteric uh, from uh, ancient uh, Egypt and even go to Atlantis and I have um, a direct connection from the most ancient mystery schools to the same and then to Judaism to Christianity and even to the pagan path because if they are working with the angels of the earth the mother so what is uh, the big difference between ones who we call them the, the spirits of the earth, the trees, the animals, the, the shamanism? So it's really a very universal path. And for me, as I grew up in a secular kibbutz and not believing in God, or in a, in a culture that don't believe in God, uh, and look at the, the religious as the others that we don't uh, really like, and don't like for them to tell us what to do <laughs> and they do as they try to tell everybody what to do and even as I research into the Jewish, the, the Jewish Kabbalah I still found like this idea of separation like as they say it's Paro, it's Afra'a and Mitzrayim is Meitzarim like uh, Afra is a, how do you say this is disturbance. disturbance and Meitzarim is like a narrow path so for me, Egypt was a very holy and sacred uh, place. So I don't really, not able to connect even to the Jewish Kabbalah. Right. And, and through the saying, it's just like, oh, suddenly, <laughs> or at least, like I was feeling like, oh, I found my tribe. Now I can say that I am connecting to the Jewish heart or to the Jewish uh, root. Yeah, uh, also the, the word Yeshua. The word, the word uh, Jesus, you know that they are not from the same origin. And Jesus is somehow closer to the word Zeus of the uh, of the Greeks God, and uh, the right word is Yeshua or Yehoshua, because in Hebrew we always add the A to say that it's from God. The salvation is from God, not from you. So it's Israel is Yehoshua coming to Yeshua. In Hebrew, sometimes they say Yesh, Yeshu, which is something very different. This is a, may is a memory and name be erased. Yes, it should, should be erased. Yes. Also, the word Jesus should be. It 
it's not uh, the proper way. Yeah. So I call him Yeshua, Ben Yosef, which is the son of Yosef. Yes, Yeshua is the right word. And uh, so in this trip we made to, from Oregon to, uh, uh, to the state of uh, Washington. I got this little booklet and they said, well, Yeshua was vegetarian and into natural healing. I opened the book, we start looking at it. Really, there was real wisdom in it, which now, when we teach natural hygiene, which is uh, just a few, maybe a hundred years old, we see that all this wisdom was already there. Two thousand years ago. Two thousand years ago. Already there. And... Uh, I think also the understanding of uh, consciousness and subconsciousness and superconsciousness. Yes. So it is modern time psychology is already there. Yeah. And um, well, in this uh, little booklet, uh, I think Gospel of Peace number one, yes. uh, the Yeshua is there giving the wisdom of natural healing to the people in, I would say, almost modern way. So that's why it's really uh, got me into uh, inspiration of uh, taking this and taking the name I think to this place. And with the coming of day I embrace my mother With the coming of night I join my father And with the outgoing of the I will not interrupt these communions until the end of time. No, I will not interrupt these communions until the end of time. Oh, that my words were graven with an iron pen on the rock forever. And I know that my Creator liveth, and He shall stand. At the edge of time upon the earth and the stars Yes, I know my, my Creator liveth And she shall stand at the edge of time Upon the earth and the stars